In this video, we're going to talk about room dimensions. And by the end of the video, you will know why they matter and how they affect the acoustic response of your room. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Michael Carrillo, AKA Hex Spa. If you're new to the channel here, I release original music and music making tutorials. So subscribe if you haven't. You've probably heard of golden ratios. These are the types of room dimensions which are supposed to give you the best sound. Well, you might find yourself in a cube room and maybe you've heard that's bad or maybe you don't know that it is bad. The thing is, with these golden ratios, what happens is you have length, width, and height, right? So most rooms are eight feet high and maybe they're 10 feet wide, maybe they're 15 feet and maybe they have 20 foot in length or maybe you're in a cubed room with eight foot high ceilings, probably not eight foot walls and eight foot length, that would be extremely small, but maybe it's 16 feet wide and 16 feet long with an eight foot ceiling. All these kinds of multiple dimensions are gonna give you trouble, especially when they're half or double, that's the worst, or if they're the same, which is actually like the worst. So if you were in like a 10 foot high room, like 10 by 10 by 10, that would be the worst. And I'm gonna explain why. I wanna take a look at a case study from the Audio Expert Forum. There was a member who came in who had an apartment that was 20 feet wide, 20 feet long, and eight feet high. But inside of that was a kitchen, and he had sort of an L shape for the rest of the room. But you see, bass waves are not interior designers. They don't care as much about a stove or like a little half wall, that does matter. But what they really see are those hard boundaries, like the, the ones between the inside of his apartment and the outside. So I knew that he was gonna have trouble. And he, he went along and just picked this room anyway. So we take a look at his acoustic response and we can see that there's a lot of energy buildup at 60 Hertz. There's also a lot of energy buildup at 120 Hertz, which is of course double that. And then we have another little bump at 140. Now the 141 comes from the eight foot ceiling and the other ones come from the 20 foot dimensions. You would understand that if you were to raise the ceiling two feet, the frequency mode would lower to 120 Hertz, okay? So this is why you don't want multiples or halves or doubles for a room in your dimensions. You want to have uh, a broken up sort of distribution. You can look up golden ratios. 99% of us are not gonna build purpose focused rooms from scratch. We're gonna have to work with whatever we, whatever we have. And it's good to know this stuff so you kinda understand where your problems are coming from. I'm gonna make another video on speaker boundary interference and listener boundary interference and how that all kind of works together. But for now, try to understand that your room dimensions basically contain the modes of your room. And you would think that modes are bad, but they're sort of an inevitable part of life. It's not really if they're good or bad, they just are. So you might as well distribute them evenly. Again, you can think of room modes like tent poles and your frequency response like the fabric that drapes over your tent. If you have all your tent poles in the same location, this would be like your, where they are in terms of your frequency. You're just gonna have a draped tent. You're not really gonna be able to get inside of it. But if you spread out those dimensions, so you have your, your tent pole maybe over here and your other one over here, now you can get inside that tent and live. And that's exactly what room modes do and, and why we wanna spread them out. If we put them all together, they just create one super strong mega mode and the rest of your frequencies are left kind of unsupported. But if you distribute your room dimensions, then you distribute your room modes and then your base range has support throughout. And as a consequence, you get a more even SPL and more even decay, which is gonna create a more accurate experience at your listening position. So in summary, if you're apartment hunting or you're selecting rooms, I know I've already done a whole video on this, but it comes up so much I wanted to repeat it. In any case, don't pick the square room. 
don't pick the room that has eight foot ceilings and 16 foot widths and lengths. Find something else. Um, maybe you could even go with a slightly smaller room and just put more treatment in it, but then at least the boundaries are, are staggered. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions about your room situation. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and go to hexpa.com to get my music for free. Peace.